What I wanted to do today was I wanted to introduce you to the Pathfinder Sun Compass educational kit that we're working on currently to sell at the Self-Reliance Outfitter store. And this is a wood burned kit that's been laser engraved. It's got two pieces and a nail. And basically it has a sun compass and then a bezel ring. So the way this works is you would lay this out in the sun and you would look at your watch or guesstimate what time it is by counting hands down from the sun. So we'll say it's four o'clock. That's what my watch says. And if it's four o'clock and we line the shadow up on the four here, north should be facing the correct direction. I remember it's probably not going to exactly match your compass if you're trying to verify this with your compass because you have declination. We can lay this on here and you can see that if you wanted that to be dead on the money, it'd be just before four o'clock, right? Again, we do have declination here. So if we put that on the four and lay that there, you're pretty close to dead on the money with the needle in the doghouse. So that is the first and most simplistic method of looking at this compass. So now that we have the compass oriented, we can now add the bezel ring. And the bezel ring has degrees from zero to 360, just like a normal compass bezel ring, but it works a little bit differently. To orientate this bezel ring or to put the needle in the doghouse per se, we would lay this bezel ring on the compass over the top on an overlay, and we would put the north or the zero over the shadow, understanding that it's going to move about 15 degrees over the next hour. So for navigation purposes, this is only good for a short amount of time, then it has to be recalibrated, readjusted. But now we can actually move on a given bearing. So if we wanted to move on say a 40 degree bearing, let's just say 50 degrees, forget even numbers. If we rotate our compass now, after we move the 50 to the shadow, if we rotate our compass so that the needle is back in the doghouse or back on the north or zero line, and we set our compass to that same 50 degree reading, and we lay our compass down, you'll see that we have needle in the doghouse, which means that the front of this compass is now facing that 50 degree azimuth. So by adjusting this first to a known north direction, now we are facing north. If we place this on top and orient the north to that line, we've essentially put the needle in the doghouse. So let's just say that we want to move on it to 90. We would again move this until the north needle is in the doghouse, and the front of that compass should now be facing on a 290. We plug 290 into our compass for verification purposes. 280, 290, and we lay it beside it. Again, we have very close to needle in the doghouse on our compass with a little bit of variation for declination. But you can see that now you have a navigable device here that will help you understand how shadows work, how the sun works, how time works. This is also a clock at the same time and how you can navigate primitively with the sun. All of these components could be reproduced from natural material if needs be, but this is just a training aid device and it does have holes drilled in the corners so that it can be suspended by four strings to keep it level all the time because you can walk with this compass. And as long as you kept the needle in the doghouse, let's say at four o'clock for the next hour or so, obviously moving a little bit at a time over the next hour. But if you were walking just a few hundred yards or a hundred yards and you used the top of this as an aiming point, and you kept the needle in the doghouse for that northern direction, you would be moving north. If you wanted to take a bearing to move to, you could do the same thing. Take your bearing that you want to move to, say 30 degrees, put the shadow back in the doghouse. You have strings suspending it and keeping it level. And as long as you're walking with the shadow where it's supposed to be on the north line, you are moving on that 330 degree bearing. 
So it is a navigable type compass that is using the sun instead of magnetics to accomplish the job. All right, guys, well, I appreciate you joining me out here today for a quick lesson on the Pathfinder Sun Compass, how it's set up and how it works. We're going to have that kit available on our website at selfrelianceoutfitters.com in the very near future. If you'd like to buy several sets of them, we also will have packages set up where you can buy a dozen of them at a time or six of them at a time if you're using them for scouts or for school groups and things like that. And then we'll also sell them, obviously, one at a time as well. I appreciate your views and I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, for our business, for all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.